Hi friends, welcome back to Faith and Error Homestead. My name is Jaylee and today we are in my basement right where I keep my chest freezer. I have a chest deep freezer, a decently large one I think, um, and I store a lot of food in here and today we are going to clean it out. So that's going to look like removing everything from it. We're going to unplug it, let it defrost. We're going to clean it out completely. We're going to reorganize the contents and then put everything back. That's the goal for today. So I wanted to, I'm actually in a bit of a time crunch because I have to bring Tom his lunch. I have to leave in about a half an hour. So I'm hoping that I can go ahead and get everything out of here and leave it open while I'm gone to let it kind of defrost and let the ice release from the sides and whatnot. So we're actually gonna go ahead and get started right now. Right now I have everything stored in bags in there and I have not found it to be a very efficient system. I did some research and I see that a lot of people store boxes, store their, their contents in boxes. So we're gonna try that this time and see if I like it any better. So here is what we are working with so far. It is full up to the top. You can see the ice buildup on the sides there. We definitely need to get in here and clean this out. Now, I have only cleaned this freezer out once since I purchased it three years ago. And it's been about two years since that clean out. And I changed my diet completely. We, we cut out pesticides in October of 2022, and we started cutting out seed oils and really, really drastically changing our diet in February of this year, 2023. So there is going to be quite a bit in here that we are just going to throw away. I'm not going to eat it, and we are not going to donate it because it is going to be expired. Having been two years since I did my last clean out, and having been over a year since I purchased anything non-organic. I don't, th there might be a little bit of crossover in here, so we'll play that by ear because if there's anything that I can donate, I will, but I'm not donating an expired food, so do not come at me <laughs> in the comments if you see me throwing stuff away. So I'm going to start just pulling stuff out here, and we'll talk about it as I organize it. All right, let's start with this. So these boxes came from the farm that I purchased my local dairy and meat products from. So I think this can probably be our meat box. So I've got some ground beef and some ground sausage. This box I haven't even opened yet. So in here we've got more sausage and ground beef. We have a whole chicken. Perfect. That's really good. I'm glad that I have not been able to afford to purchase. We call it the protein box. Me and um, Christina, you met her when I interviewed the farm, Sunny Co. Farm. I'll link that interview down in the description. Um, she and I created what we've been calling the protein box. And it's how I get my, my beef and my sausage and my chicken and whatnot. Um, and I've not been able to afford it the last few times. So I'm really glad to get in here and see that I still have some stuff left over from previous because I think it's gonna be a little while before I'll be able to afford to get it again. Here I've got some chicken feet that I purchased locally to throw into my, ne my next batch of beef broth. We're gonna put that in this meat box. A bunch of tomatoes. I already know that I'm gonna have a lot of veggies, so I'll use the biggest box for the veggies. More diced peppers, green beans, zucchini, more zucchini. All right, I'm accumulating quite a few baked goods. This has a bunch of chocolate chip muffins that I froze. These are some oatmeal cookies that I made. Get that going in there. Wow, I still have some meatballs left in here from when we preserved. These are apple ginger meatballs. I preserved them November 29th, 2022. So these are about a year old. We did this together. I'll link this video down in the description. How cool is that? Still have some left. So these dinner rolls are one of those items that I could not bring myself to throw out when I did this the first time. Um, these expired in 2020. So these are almost four years old. And I just, I hate throwing food away. I hate it. Let's look at the ingredients. Soybean and or canola oil. Ammonium chloride. That doesn't sound good. Yep. I need to grab a 
trash bag. We're, we're tossing them. I feel bad about it. Oh man, this box of Hot Pockets. There's only a few left in here. Let's see when these expired. I have not eaten a store-bought Hot Pocket in a, a long time. Oh, actually, these only just expired in May 2023. I know that I bought this uh, two years ago because these were in here when I did the first freezer clean out. So the fact that they just expired this year actually kind of grosses me out. All right, we've got some pie crust. Let's see, 2022, I'm curious about the ingredients. Interesting, so I was wondering what the oil was gonna be. It says lard, which surprising, and then in parentheses, it says deodorized lard, hydrogenated lard. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, pass. This is literally how I used to feed us. This is, these are the kinds of things that I would make us for dinner or I'd send for lunch for Tom. Look at the ingredient list. The ingredient list is literally like three inches long. That is crazy. I've got some store-bought milk. I know that this is really old. This has been in here for a while. 2020 this milk which I mean milk keeps in the freezer for a really long time I actually probably would drink that um but I have not drank store-bought milk in some time now and I just I don't I don't need it I don't have the need and it's expired so I'm tossing it all right now here's a tricky one I've got a bag of all-purpose flour I used to always store my flour in the freezer it expired this year. I might see if anybody wants this. I think I, I, I have a few people in mind I'll check with to see, because this is still, that's still fine, I think, if you ask me. All right, and then what do we have here? We've got, this is, these are more of those meatballs. They actually look really good. This does not look too freezer burnt. The cheese is probably not a good quality cheese based on when I made these, but you know what? I think I'm going to keep that and bake them up and see how they taste. And if they don't taste super freezer burn, I think we'll actually have this for dinner tomorrow. I've, I already know what we're having for dinner tonight, but um, I think we'll have this for dinner tomorrow. That's awesome. Cool. These two I just put in there yesterday. This was, um, so I made, I made a video with a recipe called Hidden Bean Chili, and it's just my chili recipe for you guys. I made it for a dinner party that we ended up having quite a few people not come to. Um, they like kind of last minute bailed, and I ended up having a lot of chili left over, so I vacuum sealed it and um, labeled it, and I'll be able to eat it for dinner another time. So I love having a vacuum sealer. I'll link the vacuum sealer that I use down in the description if you are interested in purchasing one. It is, um, mid-November right now, so they'll probably go on sale for Black Friday if that's something that you're interested in adding to your kitchen equipment. More meatballs. These ones, oh look, so okay, interesting. These are apple ginger meatballs. They are, they're dated the same. These ones are just in a Ziploc bag. These ones are actually vacuum sealed. So these vacuum sealed meatballs are going to be just fine. I could probably leave them in there another year and they would still be okay. These ones, a bit questionable and they do look like they do have a little bit of freezer burn on them, but I'm still gonna give them a shot. I'll just stick them in my crock pot and see how they taste. All right, so this is how I was storing stuff and I find it to be pretty useless. Okay, here we go. All of these veggies are from last year's garden. This is all homegrown, home, grown, home um, vacuum sealed. So these are bell peppers. We've got green beans, a bag of bananas. We've got some pears. This all came, the pears I purchased locally. I did not grow those, but um, yeah, this is all good stuff. I'm gonna put it in the top of this box here and I will have to just really remember, I've got bags of bell peppers, bags of zucchini. I see some zucchini bread in my future. I need to use this stuff up. It's all vacuum sealed. So even though it's a year old, like almost exactly a year old, um, it's fine. It'll be absolutely perfect to use in, in my cooking and baking. Um, no problem with that whatsoever. Oh wow, I have some bags of peas and these are not expired. They expire next year. Awesome. I must've purchased those recently. All right, this, this, 
the last thing in this bag is going to be really, really sad. Oh, no. It's expired. Um, over a year expired. It's full of freezer burn. And before I even show you what it is, I'm throwing it away. It's, it's not good quality. I'm pretty sure I got this at Walmart. Terrible quality, expired, freezer burnt. It's not going to make it any less heartbreaking to throw it away. Look at this thing of ground beef. Oh, no. Oh, man. If it was in good shape, I'm going to be honest with you, I would probably use it for the sake of not wasting it. But it's in really poor shape, so I'm not going to. But that's really sad. I do not purchase... Um, ground beef like that anymore. Um, I either get it from the farm as you saw or I purchase the organic option from my local grocery store. I have a really difficult time with meat because I know so much now about the way the animals are treated in the higher production um, environments and it's just I literally have a hard time swallowing it when I eat it. Literally. It's it's I can understand why vegans become vegan in that for that reason for the moral convictions. I'm not vegan because I know there's a better way. Um, but that's, that one hurts <laughs> to throw away. That's really sad. All right. We're actually almost done. Mrs. Fields cookies. This hasn't even been opened yet. Chocolate chip with walnut. I purchased these from somebody's fundraiser a very long time ago. Vegetable oil blend. It says, Blech. I'll keep these though um, because they were expensive and I could totally make these when I have like a large group over or something. All right, I know that everything in here is gonna get thrown away. I'll recycle the cardboard, but I kept all of this when I cleaned out the freezer the first time. So I know 2022, 2022, I think these are all gonna be expired 2022. I've always wondered the bags of broccoli with cheese, I used to pack these for lunch all the time. Yep, soybean oil. Look at that. Wow. 2021. Oh, this one is not expired yet. A bag of strawberries, non-organic, from Peru, it says. Oh, my God. I can't. How does, I don't understand how that never used to have an impact on me. Like, a bag of frozen whole strawberries, non-organic, that I would purchase in the fall or the winter time that says product of Peru. How did it never cross my mind that maybe I don't want to eat strawberries from Peru in December? Like, it just never even entered into my consciousness previously. All right, that was the last of it. So we are good. These are all gonna go. So actually, not too bad for the throwing stuff away. Not, not too bad, not great, not terrible. All right, I think I am gonna toss these bananas. They're freezer burnt, they've been there a long time. I'm gonna try to get somebody to take this flour. I've got this box of cookies here. And then I need a box for. All right, I'm realizing as I'm looking at everything that we've got some serious meal prep to do. Oh, I didn't show you this. This is beef liver. Um, I actually probably will need to use this pretty soon because the stuff that I've got chopped upstairs we'll need to go and then this is a peach cobbler this is new i just did this a few months ago so we'll keep this those two things can stay got the chili all right um yes as i was saying we're gonna need to do some serious meal prep um because i've got the meatballs and a ziti and some chili and that's it for meal prep i don't have anything made up at all nothing um <clears throat> Wow, interesting. I'm gonna split the veggies in between these two boxes because I have so many and I wanna be able to um, stack them. So just to get this kind of empty, I'm gonna throw all this in here. Actually, I'll just have this box be tomatoes. I'll put everything else in here. All right, good, okay, perfect. So we've got two boxes of veggies, a box of meat, and a box of baked goods. I'm going to take the rest of this, um, I'm going to take the rest of this upstairs with me. Let's see. I'll put the chili in with the meat. Yep. The rest of this is going to come upstairs with me and we will eat it shortly over the next couple of weeks or so. The rest of it, these three boxes, uh, four boxes and the beef liver are all going to go back into the freezer. However, we're going to actually leave this open and let it um, 
defrost. We're, I'm going to unplug it. We're going to let the ice melt. We're going to get in here, clean it out really well, and then we'll put everything back. So I got to figure out where this is even plugged in. Oh, I see right here. Try to get these boxes and I'm going to throw a blanket over it all and try to insulate it a little bit so that it'll stay cold, hopefully. All right, let's go ahead and get this cleaned up and we can finish this project up. So there are, all the ice has fallen off of the sides now and it's all in the bottom. Um, and you don't want to scrape or damage the bottom of your freezer at all. So I actually have a, um, a broom, a dust, a dust pan, and I'm just going to kind of gently scoop the ice out and I've got a sink right next to me. So I am realizing that my deep freezer has a drain down there. That's awesome. I don't think we're going to need it today, but that's good to know for the future. Now I have an old towel that I don't mind getting dirty and I'm going to go through and dry off the walls and the bottom. I want this baby bone dry before we put everything back. Oh, this is great. How awesome is this? I'm so glad that we're doing this. All right, pretty much done. I saved this last nasty little spot to uh, clean. So let me get this really quick. Awesome, this is all dry and clean and we can go ahead and put all of our stuff back in here. This is veggie box number one. This has all of the tomatoes in it. This is veggie box number two. This has peppers and zucchini and green beans in it. This is the meat box. And this is the um, baked good box. pretty perfect and then this is my beef liver I can slip that right here oh man that's perfect um, I actually am going to go ahead and put some of these things that I said I was going to bring upstairs just here because I think I need to go through the upstairs freezer too and make a little bit of room so that's fine. I'll just put this here for now and it'll be really easy for me to access right here anyway. Okay, that's perfect. All right, guys, that looks really good. I'm excited. Our freezer it has been defrosted, cleaned out. Everything in here I would and will use um, and all of the old stuff has been cleaned out, thrown away. So this is awesome. All right, we are all done with this. Yes, I plugged it back in. <laughs> this baby is plugged back in and I can hear her already starting to cool back down. So that's awesome. Um, I love having a chest freezer. I definitely want a stand up freezer as well in the future um, because I like the idea of having the deep freezer for um, meats and vegetables but I like the idea of having the stand-up freezer for prepared meals. I think I like the idea of having like a shelf be for marinated meats and a shelf be for casseroles and a shelf be for bread products. And I like be, I, I like the idea of being able to organize my freezer storage that way, having prepared meals and whatnot, uh, food prep in the upright and having overflow meats and veggies in the chest freezer. Um, I guess I could do that with boxes. I could have a box of marinated meats and a box of casseroles and a box of bread products. I could do it that way. Um, but in the future, when I purchase a second freezer, because someday I will, um, I think I'm going to get an upright and that way I'll have one of each. I think um, I think I like that idea. Uh, I wanna try that out. But we ended up getting this. It's been, I think this is our third year with it. 
and um, I got it on a President's Day sale. Chest freezers are actually not terribly expensive. So if you are thinking about adding a deep freezer to your homestead, I definitely recommend it. It has been, I, there's no way I'd be able to do the amount of stuff that I do just using my upstairs um, freezer that's attached to my fridge. Not a chance, absolutely not. This was essential. It was one of the very first homestead purchases I made when I decided I wanted to start living this lifestyle. Um, it was pretty affordable. I think it was like 200 and some change with the sale that I shopped. This was three years ago, so I don't know how crazy they've gone up in price since then, but it was a solid purchase. I'm glad I got it, and I definitely recommend it. You can also, I know people who are really short on space. Um, some people use them as tables. They actually like throw a tablecloth over it and like use it as a table. Um, or, or like a little shelf or something. So you could actually, you know what you could do if you have like a dehydrator and a water bath canner and some homesteading supplies, uh, like the ones I showed you in my pantry tour, you could actually store those on top of your freezer and it could serve a dual purpose being a shelf for your homesteading supplies. So it, you could make it work if you're short on space. I just have mine down here in the basement up against this wall and it works out fine. So. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me while we cleaned this out and uh, made some decisions. They, uh, I hate throwing food away, so I'm really sorry that we had to do that in this video. I'm going to be very mindful because at this point, most of what I have in here, I either purchased locally or I grew myself. There's not a whole lot left in here that came from a grocery store, like the stuff that we threw away. So I don't think I'll have waste like that again in the future. That was kind of the last purge of pre uh, no seed oil, no pesticide stuff that I was purchasing and keeping on the homestead. So uh, I don't think I'll have that happen too often again in the future, but it definitely hurt. I hate throwing stuff away like that. I hate being wasteful, but it just never got eaten. And it, as you know, it's beyond expired now. So we're moving on and uh, I'm not gonna let it get me down. I'm just gonna do better in the future. So thanks so much for hanging out with me. I can't wait to see you in my next video. Have faith and keep moving forward. Bye.